I'm at work all day, there's jelly beans right there. Are you a freaking moron? Who has candy sitting on their desk? Coach Greg, and today we're going over a full day of eating by none other than Stephanie Buttermore. She's a year and a half since her all-in journey. She's lost the weight, kept it off, but remember, she has amazing genetics. Of course, you're going to try and debate me, but she's a bikini champion, and she can eat a lot of food and not gain a lot of weight. She ain't Amberlynn Reed. She goes all in, and she's over 500 pounds. So just because it works for Stephanie doesn't mean it's automatically going to work for you. We're going to watch the video together, but trust me, don't be jealous of her. She exercises a lot. She burns off the calories and she has a fast metabolism. Most people could not get away with eating the way she does, but we're going to watch the video together and I'm going to explain to you that one key secret that she's learned that's helped her keep the weight off. Breakfast ready. I have two eggs on a whole avocado on toast. This breakfast is amazing, but if you're someone that likes to eat a lot, this is what I would recommend. Rather than eating the whole eggs, you could eat just the egg whites instead. That would save a number of calories and add more vegetables on top. When I eat this meal, and I do, I had it yesterday, I literally add tomatoes, onions, and some lettuce on top, and I have an open-faced sandwich. I eat it like a sandwich. I also eat this on on rice cakes. There's a lot of ways to do it and this is a great breakfast. It's delicious and nutritious and gonna keep you full longer than last time, especially if you add the vegetables. New addition to my breakfast is having iced coffee. It's just regular brewed coffee that I let cool down and I put ice in it and then I put some sweetener and cashew milk. And rather than adding cream and sugar, she's smart enough to know to use sweetener and cashew milk to keep the calories lower. The coffee, of course it has caffeine, which lowers your appetite and speeds your metabolism. Great way to start a breakfast, so good job on Stephanie. Delicious. I never knew she was with Mike Thurston. Delicious. Is Jeff Snipper to wear Mike Thurston? Hair, makeup, done. I'm looking a lot better than the last time you saw me. She's looking better than last time. Is she watching Coach Greg? Better than last time. So after I had breakfast, I actually went to the gym. Notice she didn't go and do empty stomach cardio or some secret method of burning fat. Not going to work. The best thing you can do is wake up and then eat. It's your first opportunity for muscle protein synthesis to occur. So I'm getting hungry. It's 1 p.m. So it's been quite a while since I had my breakfast. It's been five hours since breakfast and she's finally ready to eat. She didn't need a post-workout protein shake. No, there is no anabolic window. You don't need to eat right after the gym. You can skip that. She's doing everything right so far. I've been at the place where I feel like I could eat indefinitely and never feel full. And after I had breakfast this morning, I was like an eight out of 10 full. She wasn't stuffed, she was full. That is how you should be eating. If it's not filling for you, you need to make changes to allow yourself to feel full. This is the secret. I'm not gonna wait to the end of the video to tell the secret. The secret for Stephanie is she is full. When you're full, you're not hungry. When you're not hungry, you don't need to eat more. And if you don't eat too many calories, you're not in a surplus, you're not going to gain weight. That is the secret which Stephanie has discovered. Still kind of shocks me that I've, I've reached this point where my appetite and my hunger is the way it is now. It feels so normal. It feels normal for her. She now feels full. She's satisfied. It's perfect. She's got it down packed. Sounds like she feels like Coach Greg. This is how I've always felt when I eat. When I'm dieting and I'm starving myself to do a bodybuilding show, I don't feel that anymore. So I urge you to get to a weight that you're still able to feel full and satisfied and be happy and be healthy. That's what Stephanie has done here. But remember, she has amazing genetics. You may not be able to eat as many calories as she does and maintain the weight that you want. But if you stick to eating low calorie dense foods that keep you full, you're going to be able to lose weight. Turkey, uh, white American cheese, mustard, and like every veggie because I love me some veggies. Cucumbers, lettuce, tomatoes, uh, pickles. And for lunch, she eats a massive turkey sub full of vegetables and turkey filling. She's going to be full from this. 
Notice it's not a can of tuna or a plate of chicken, broccoli, and rice. It's something she likes, that she enjoys, that keeps her full and satiated. The diet that works is going to be the diet you can stick to for the rest of your life. And clearly, Stephanie has found a diet that works for her. And can't help but feel jealous watching her walking along the beach when I'm stuck here in Canada walking through snowstorms. 10 out of 10, delicious. What do you think? It was really good. Always, always delivers. Is Jeff Nipper not jealous of my thirst in 10 on 10 delicious? And he always delivers. How is he putting up with that? Oh, buddy, have you guys seen these yet? Oh my God, my nails match. Next up, Will Tennyson would be proud. It's a frosted strawberry donut Oreo cookie. And you're probably thinking, well, Coach Greg, aren't you gonna shit on her? No, you're allowed to have snacks on your diet. You can eat foods that are not considered healthy on your diet. You just need to eat them in moderation. And what do I keep saying in videos? Keep the junk food out of the house or at least out of sight. This is out of the house. So she can't be sitting on the couch watching TV and saying, oh, I want those donut cookies. No, they're not there. You have to leave the house, go for a drive and go buy them. So if it's not readily available, it's not directly in front of you, it's gonna be harder to get. And you can eat this in moderation on occasion. So she's out with Jeff and she's going to eat some of these cookies, which is perfectly fine and acceptable. And here's my tip. After you're done eating a few of the cookies, throw the rest out. Oh, people are starving. Yeah, but not you. So rather than bring home the box of cookies and have 20 cookies left that you're going to be staring at every day and wanting, just get rid of them. Eat the few that you want and get rid of it. And the next time you want cookies, you go and get them. But they're not in the pantry, not right there. They're not alley in the back reaching to get the freaking cookies and cereal. No, you don't have them in the house. So this, I think, is a smart idea. I'm ready, I'm ready. Cheers. I don't know if you're like me, but just watching this, it makes me hungry. Allie made me the biggest omelet I've ever seen. It was egg whites, extra lean ground beef, and vegetables with cheese melted on. It was massive. I couldn't even finish it. So I'm full, but I'm sitting here watching this right now, and now I want cookie. Because I want it, it's in my face. It's saying, eat me. So my advice, don't have foods that are highly palatable, delicious foods that are high in calories around the house. Just seeing it on my computer screen makes me want to eat it. Imagine if it was right there, right there. I can reach over and eat it. I'm eating it. Because when you see food, it's going to make you hungry. It's going to trigger you to want to eat. It's evolution. Our bodies want to store extra body fat. You see food, you want to eat it. Especially if it's full of sugar and calories, of course you're gonna wanna eat it. I have this theory that extreme hunger is made up of two main components, mental hunger and physical hunger. So whether you're physically hungry, you know, hunger pangs, or mentally hungry, you know, thinking about food being hungry, hunger is hunger. Hunger is hunger. If you're hungry, you're hungry. Just like tired is tired. Are you physically tired or mentally tired? I'm tired. I don't want to get up, I want to go to sleep. I'm tired. Well, do you physically need to sleep or mentally need to sleep? I need to freaking sleep. Are you sleeping? Oh, Greg, is it, are, you, are, you, are you narcoleptically sleepy now or just sleepy sleepy? I'm freaking falling asleep in about 12 seconds like I did last night watching the freaking movie in the bathtub. Just like if I want sexy time, I want sexy time. Alan is going to bedroom, but, but nothing hard is going on down there. I don't care if I physically want sexy time or mentally want sexy time. I want some freaking sexy time. Let's get going. Doesn't matter if it's physically showing itself or mentally. I just want it now. Let's go do it. Do it. Do it. Do it! So yes, hunger is hunger. And if you eat too many calories, regardless of what kind of hunger it is, you're going to gain weight. The key is to be full and satisfied and not have cravings. The foods that you love that have too many calories, don't stop eating them. Make healthier alternatives to those foods. Pizza, you can still eat pizza. Bring it inside the circle. Lower the fat in calories. Every food you love and enjoy can be made healthier. 
French toast wraps, everything can be made healthier. That's the secret to my diet, the circle diet. From my cookbook, you knew it was coming. Cookbook 2.0, it's twice as good as the first one. It's full of low calorie, delicious meals that are gonna keep you full, keep you satisfied, that you can stick to for the rest of your life. I had to overcome my mental hunger first before my body was capable of overcoming physical hunger, like extreme physical hunger. So no, you don't have to defeat mental hunger first and then tackle physical hunger like it's a football game. No, hunger is hunger. You know how to beat hunger? You get not hungry. There's no reason to overcomplicate things. You eat lower calorie delicious foods that make you full. You don't cut everything out eating chicken, broccoli, and rice. You still eat the foods that you enjoy. That is how you defeat hunger. Hunger is hunger. Make yourself not hungry. Problem solved. Basically, when you want food and you're thinking about food all the time, even when you're not physically hungry, like you could just have eaten a meal and still want more. Yep, yep, mental hunger after you just ate and you got rid of physical hunger. Get the food out of sight. Do you know how many people have food sitting around the house? They look and you see candies right under the desk. Oh, that work all day. There's jelly beans right there. Are you a freaking moron? Who has candies sitting on their desk? I'm trying to lose weight. Candies on the desk. I'm a drug addict. Lines of creatine are sitting right in front of me. No, use common sense. Why would you do that to you? By the time I kind of got rid of my mental hunger, I still had lingering very high levels of physical hunger, but I had to get that out of the way first. So yeah, her whole spiel on mental and physical hunger, I don't agree with any of it. You don't get rid of mental hunger and you have physical hunger left. Physical hunger is easy to get rid of. You put food in your stomach, a big salad, physical hunger is gone. You don't have the hunger pangs when your stomach's full. You get hunger pangs when your stomach is empty. You put something in it, low calorie dense foods, it's gone. Mental hunger, that is the harder thing to get rid of. It's always there. It's always punching in the face, hey, to eat. Grab that jelly bean that's sitting on your desk and eat it. That is what you need to do. You need to get rid of all the foods out of your sight that you want to eat. And you do that while being full. If you're already full, you're not gonna crave food as much. If you're already eating foods you enjoy, you're not gonna crave other foods. That is how you stick to a diet for the rest of your life. It's EZ. Sounds hard, uh, it sounds hard on paper, but that's because you haven't got my freaking cookbook and you haven't watched enough of my videos. The thousands of people have gotten the cookbook and lost weight, they know how easy it is. So what are you waiting for? You know you want it. I had half a sub, half of it, and I was full. She ate half of a sub and she's full. It's been a couple hours. <laughs> yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. If you eat low calorie, voluminous foods, you're gonna be full for hours. You don't need to eat chicken, broccoli, and rice every two hours. No, every four to five hours you eat, that is great. That's how it's supposed to be. Stephanie, that is how you're supposed to diet. That's why it's working for you. Dinner is pasta. Spaghetti sauce has ground turkey in it. It has mushrooms, a little bit of spinach, it's red onions, topped with Parmesan cheese. And for supper, she's eating pasta and meat sauce, but she did at least substitute out regular ground beef for extra lean meat in order to save on calories. She also could have made a substitution and lowered the calories in the pasta by having low carb pasta that has fewer calories. I'm not super hungry, which is kind of crazy. She's so full from eating previously that she can get away with this. Most of you, you won't. Most of you, if you eat like this, you're not going to be full. You're not going to be satisfied. If you added more vegetables to this meal, it would allow you to be a lot more full. She gets away with it, but remember I said she has amazing genetics. She's a former bikini champion. She burns off a lot of calories. I'm gonna be honest with you. I had something planned for dessert and I am too full. You see what I'm talking about being full? It's the secret to weight loss. If you're full, you're not gonna end up overeating calories. She wanted to have dessert, but she's too full. Imagine being able to be full and not have cravings for extra food. She's also not eating to the point of being stuffed. So here's a tip. 
Don't ever get stuffed and don't ever get starving. Keep yourself somewhere in the middle. When you're hungry, eat. Eat to the point of being satisfied or full. And if you eat lower calorie foods, you're going to end up eating fewer calories, which will allow you to lose weight or stick to your diet. Ending it here. GregDuset.com for coaching. Greg Duset, I be pro. The bloops, they're over there. Watch one of those. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and buy my freaking cookbook. It's going to make a change in your life. You know you want it. And until next time, I am out. Hey, no, it's just one dog barking from around the way. No.